Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, and in today's video, we've got a very quick update in regards to some Pokemon news. Yesterday, we got the information about the big Sword and Shield reveal for the run-up to Pokemon Day this coming weekend on the 27th, which was just those new max raid events that are taking place in Sword and Shield. But on top of that, we got some brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl news as well. Now, if you want to take advantage of the current max raid event dens that are running in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can click up here and I'll I'll link I'll link it up here. That's that's the place it'll be. Um for you to check out all the details about those max raid events that are running currently now and for a limited time only. So you're only gonna have a limited time to take advantage of those events and get those exclusive G Max starters that are currently available in Sword and Shield. Now getting on to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, like I say, we did get a quick update yesterday, and it was a pretty big one to be honest, which is a update, a patch update, the one point 2.01 and there are some pretty big changes to the game so we'll cover those now Cerebi put up most of the patch notes here yesterday for the update which dropped on February the 22nd which was yesterday as of recording this video as you can see it is version 1.2.0 and there are some pretty significant changes compared to the last patch notes that we had for this game first one we're going to talk about is they have now added the global and group ranking so you can check those out that's in Jubilife TV station I'll show you that in a minute where you can access those they also fixed the union room so up to eight players now can join it at one time where it was just kind of two players before um, and it also allows players to share the capsule decorations as well that they've got so if you're into that facility you can now share those between players in the union room which is pretty nice uh, they also added the Colosseum mode to the Pokemon centers allowing for players to select specific rules to battle so it's not just a free-for-all anymore you can have like singles doubles multi battles and things like that um, which is pretty nice to take advantage of um, and then the biggest one probably that's affecting quite a few players is the preventing of some Pokemon obtained through cheating or exploits from being used in battles and trades so the official notes on this weren't as scathing as that but it pretty much is what it is isn't it so any Pokemon that were cloned from the menu glitch will not be uh, able to be used for battles online or for trading you're not going to be able to trade those away anymore the menu glitch has completely been patched you're not going to be able to access that anymore with this new update and like i say any pokemon that have been cloned in your copy of the game will not be accessible to be traded or to be used in battles online you're going to be kind of flagged up with a message saying this pokemon uh, there's something wrong with the data in it and you're not going to be able to do anything with it online so there's this has been patched in game to kind of pick up those clones the original pokemon with where those clones came from you'll be able to use don't worry but you're gonna have to try and distinguish which one that is if you've made lots of clones in your games um unfortunately i don't have any clones on my current copy of brilliant diamond Channel pearl i didn't do any glitches on this version of the game i played through so i don't have any examples to show you but if you go online and you try and trade one of these pokemon away for instance you're going to be flagged up with a message to say that you're not going to be able to trade that pokemon and um, don't worry about getting banned though i don't think they're handing bans out in regards to this i think they're just preventing these pokemon from being traded so you should be pretty safe still going online and doing all the the fun things that they've added in with this new patch update so this is the update pretty briefly but if we hop into game we can take a look at some of the new facilities here so in the pokemon center the coliseum mode if you come up to the first floor here you're going to be able to come across to the npc character at the end and now you're going to have the ability to choose when you go online um the the different battle formats that you want to play in so you're going to have singles doubles and multi-battle and then you can kind of uh, cater those a bit more when you get into the actual battle when you've hooked up with another player so that's the new facility for the Colosseum there which has been added which is pretty nice finally added um, so you're going to be able to take advantage of that and then to see the global and group rankings you want to come up here to the Jubilife TV building and you want to head to the third floor because this is where you're going to be able to kind of check out these grouping global rankings if you would like to so you're going to have to be in a group to obviously take part in um, and see information on the group rankings but the global rankings you should be able to hook up to the internet and see all of the uh, the global rankings for different aspects of the game so once you're on the third floor I'm going to make your way over to this area here 
and the door on the right I think is the group rankings which is yeah so you're going to see your group rankings and then uh, you can go to the different terminals here and I'll show you different things for Pokemon defeated Pokemon court etc if you are in groups and things like that so it gives you a lot of stat information about that and then coming over to the global rankings is the building on the left and again the same terminals are here so you're going to be able to kind of access all of these and um, see all the information about different things in the game so that is how you access that unfortunately i do not believe that we have got access to the gws yet i was kind of hoping that that would be patched in on this update but it doesn't appear to be something that we've got access to just yet we will just check um but i don't believe that we've got that yet so i'm hoping once we do get compatibility with pokemon home that we will get access to this facility and yep the npc character here is still stopping us sorry the gws isn't ready yet which seems crazy because it's been a long time they must have a lot of maintenance to do in this area so the other thing to mention in the patch notes as well was in regards to a tweet from one of our data miners matt um he put this tweet out yesterday in regards to the 1.2.0 update uh, that adds in some interesting information the legends arceus origin mark is now displayed for pokemon that originated from that game so if you can see here we've got a patch Risu that has been theoretically transferred from Pokemon Legends Arceus and it does have that Legends Arceus origin mark so kind of indicating that there is going to be compatibility between Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl, Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Home coming very soon with them setting this up. Uh, the other thing was the Time Travel Award is now complete and has art. So this was in here already but it didn't have any artwork or anything like that so it has been all fleshed out in this current update as you can see it here on the screen and again another indicator that there is some sort of compatibility between Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl and Pokemon Legends Arceus so um, it does look good on the horizon for a Pokemon Home update very soon so once Pokemon Home is updated we'll probably have some more information about Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl compatibility with Pokemon Legends Arceus and potentially Sword and Shield although I doubt out, there's going to be really any compatibility with sword and shield but you never know um, but that is definitely on the horizon and that is some good information there as well. Also the information that we got from Pokemon Legends Arceus uh, about the strange balls a little while ago um, being found in Pokemon Legends Arceus we don't have currently access to those that is another indicator that this might be um, a mode or a way for them to send Pokemon between the two games so when you transfer a Pokemon out of Pokemon Legends Arceus say time travel it it's going to be put into a strange ball when it arrives uh, either from BDSP or vice versa so we don't really know yet but uh, we will cover any news and updates as soon as they do drop on the channel um, but that pretty much wraps up everything for the 1.2.0 update obviously if you are in the game you're going to just uh, update your game if you haven't got auto sets on just come to the game here hover over it and then you want to go to software update via the internet and that will update you to 1.2.0 and you'll be able to have all these new features in the games obviously you can't do any of the glitches or anything like that anymore but it's probably a good thing going forward but we've still got a bunch of stuff to come out in brilliant diamond china pill we know we've got the aux letter for the shaman event to come so when that will be we'll cover that as well as the dark Rai event that is programmed into the game and some other things that are there which we know that that potentially could have events for things like in Romanos Park but whether or not we get those anytime soon will be another thing coming so hopefully we do but if we do make sure that I will cover them on the channel so if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest news in regards to anything to do with Pokemon Legends last year's Brilliant Diamond Shining Pill or Pokemon Sword and Shield hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we will cover it as soon as it drops but thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode friends I hope you all have a great rest of your day whatever time of day it is and I will catch you all on another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye